Hey, so in this video, I'm gonna be making a track using only sounds from the Moog Matriarch. So like a bass sound, maybe some pads, and even all the drums, kick, snare, hats. And I'm using the Akai Force to record all the MIDI, the audio, and then arrange it into a track. Okay, so here is my game plan. Now I'm gonna start with the drums because it's quite challenging creating analog drums from scratch. So let's start with the kick. I'm gonna use one oscillator, a triangle wave, and then I gotta crank up this resonance and tweak the filter to give it a very clear attack. And now I'm gonna record this into the force. I'm gonna play the kick over and over again while I'm tweaking the filter so that I have plenty of kick sounds to choose from later. Okay, so now the snare is gonna be like 95% noise, a little bit of tone from an oscillator, but basically all noise. And then it's just gonna be about adjusting that filter and the decay, whether it's gonna be a short kind of snare or a longer snare. And I wanna use both. So same strategy here, where I wanna record a whole bunch of snare sounds so I can have plenty to pick from later. Okay, so now for the hi-hats, and this is the hardest one to create because it's basically noise, but you really got to crank up the high-pass filter with some serious resonance and then ease in a little bit of oscillator in there too for some of that bell sound. Again, same strategy here where I'm going to record a whole bunch of them so I have plenty to pick from later. Okay, so just to be real with you for a minute, that was the shortened version. It actually took me over an hour to create these analog drum sounds. Like I said, it's very hard to create them from scratch. All right, so now that I have all these sounds in the force, I'm gonna pick through them, assign them to these pads, and then I'm gonna be ready to create a beat. Okay, so we got a beat. Now I wanna add some sort of like pad sound to help fill out the middle and give me something to respond to. And maybe I'll add a little bit of modulation here to the rate so that it fluctuates around a little bit more and add some spice. Okay, now it's time for a bass sound, and I want it to be really juicy and fat. And you get that kind of sound by putting it in mono and then using all four oscillators, maybe a little detuned. Although maybe that's a little bit too bright. I'm gonna use this filter to clamp things down a little bit. Okay, so I like that one a lot. And what I do here is I record MIDI notes first. So after I quantize that a little bit, now I can record the audio. And my hands are free, so now I can do all these manipulations on the knobs. Okay, so I have a problem to address right away here in that the bass part that I just did doesn't fit harmonically with the pad part that I had written before. And this is pretty common where something you do later doesn't fit with something that you recorded before. So I'm gonna actually go back now and redo this pad part with something different. This is a good start here, but I wanted to have way more sustain. Okay, that one should work great. Let's get this recorded. Okay, 
Okay, so this is feeling pretty close to being done, but I, I need to do a couple things to pull it together. One is that I want to add some effects, a little bit of reverb on these, the mother ducker, of course. And then it feels like it needs like one more part to give it a little push in some parts. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna do is add some effects to the master, and particularly this SP404 type effects that I created for the force. If you missed my previous video about that, you can get to it in the description below. And here's the final track. You can listen to the whole thing on my other music-only channel. <laughs> 